Hi, it's John Garfield. We have a group of people that pray on uh, Saturdays uh, that have graduated from the Heart Plan and Sears and Doers. So we're going to the council, um, praying for one another, praying for businesses, and praying for the nation. So the, the last period of time, we've prayed quite a bit for the nation, and we've gotten some stuff. And um, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm sharing kind of what came out of those council sessions uh, with you. So I heard a phrase in the last one, uh, America is divided. And what I heard in heaven was that America is not divided. And it's more an accusation than a truth. And what I saw was there is a cancer that has tentacles going throughout the organs of the United States. And uh, like any invasive tumor, the whole body is fighting it. But by mass, it's a tiny fraction of the total body weight. It's not division. It's invasion. And um, so let me give you a couple of little background. President Trump was used by God to uh, get, excise the Muslim Brotherhood out of the United States. Obama, you know, planted a, a hundred of them in the administration and uh, Trump got rid of them. And he also put a stop to the fu Saudi funding in the United States politics. That's where a lot of the Clinton campaign cash came from. Um, and he's currently shrinking Iran, Iran's ability to uh, fund terror. Uh, so he's doing a great job. And the other thing I heard, um, and, and I kind of saw this in, in heaven as well, is that it's time for Soros to go. I saw him bound. And I also saw the, the role that we play in binding and loosing in Matthew 16. Um, so there are a couple other sources of funding besides Saudi uh, funding that... Uh, have to be dealt with in the deep state. China the dragon and Soros the cancer. Uh, so wealthy banking families, often Jewish like Soros for some odd reason, I don't understand it, have been manipulating nat nations and leveraging wars and immigration uh, for several hundred years. Uh, Soros has already been limited in his activities in several European countries. They ran him into the United States, ran him out of Europe. Uh, and he. He is originally famous for bringing England to her knees, uh, the Bank of England, through currency trading in 1992. So today, May, London has a, has a Muslim mayor. <laughs> and, it, you know, it's almost not recognizable as a British, you know, nation. Um, Soros and his team of banking families have a version of economic terrorism that's no more complicated than just destroying national economies to leverage political control. So it's not about immigration or fairness or anything else. It's about control. Uh, it's not about a nation prospering or not prospering. It's about control. Um, so he's uh, currently funding rioters and compromised political figures in Congress and state offices. Blue state mayors and prosecuting attorneys elected with Soros money have effectively made rioting and uh, you know, destruction in those areas perfectly legal. Um, that's, a, that's just the reality of what's happening. And it does give the impression that America is divided, but that's part of what it's intended to do. This is just, a, in a nutshell, is a, is a Marxist strategy. Um, and it's time for Soros to go. That's what I want to communicate prophetically. It's time for us to, uh, I don't know what you call it, bind or loose or whatever, but it's time to get rid of him. It, I saw in heaven those days are numbered, and it's time for us to play our role and kicking them out. So the larger question is, why is the UN, USA vulnerable? Why is it submissive to this cancer and the deception behind the cancer? So many suggest it's time for the church to arise and take her role. I wouldn't argue with that. Uh, my question is, why did she forfeit her role in the first place? Trump, uh, in a State of the Union um, message, he put out a prophetic decree and he said, America will never be a socialist country. And it rang like a bell in the spirit. Uh, and as a people, we're united around that premise. There's not division over that issue. Uh, the problem is, who draws the line on the sand and who gets rid of the cancer? Who does the surgery? Our theological bias is honestly childlike in a bad way. We're pacifists as believers who want our Father to make it go away. Meanwhile, believers often don't vote, they forfeit leadership in our culture, and they don't play their role. Um, so we have this obedience mindset. 
So our theological paradigm is that we want to be told what to do. Whether evangelical or charismatic, we prize obedience above personal initiative and the dangers of presumption. So like Israel, we want our king to rule over us. And that is the cancer and it has roots in Christianity, sad to say. So if you want to repent of something, that's a good place to start. Trump, on the other hand, is exactly the opposite. <laughs> he takes authority, he makes things happen, he's uh, full of initiative, and it's healthy, and I want to suggest he's a, he's a template for what God is doing in leaders. So Trump is a prophetic, prophetic Cyrus, he's a son called by God. The message behind him giving, getting COVID-19 is that he can't do it all by himself. He is not a king. He's a duly elected president with an anointing in the political mountain to make kingdom progress on God's agenda. I thank God for him. His example is being duplicated around the world. And now is a season of awakening for the rest of us to do our part. And we're, we're largely servants who open a door to uh, Jezebel to exert her control, her accusations, and her manipulation. So the three major influences of the deep state tentacles are empowered by Jezebel, are, are puppets who are held captive by her deceit. Whether it's um, you know Biden, Harris, AOC, um, Soros, they're just puppets being told what being told what to do. Those are not uh, free entities in the spirit, so to speak. So um, she, she's a. I, you know, we, it's time to grow up and be sons instead of servants. And we're not going to, we don't have the, the um, sort of the ability to ask God to cast Jezebel out like a demon. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> She's a principality with a right to be here at the invitation of our theological mindset. So our job as sons is to replace her. Um, in the context of Hebrews 5.11, solid food is sharing the Father's purpose. It's the same thing he wrote in our heart's desire, and it's already in the desire of his heart. So I want to suggest that the Father wants to do this. And you can go to heaven and figure it out, you know, get that confirmation your, yourself. Hebrews 5.14, uh, 5, starting on verse 11. We have much to say about this, but it's hard to explain because you are slow to learn. In fact, though, by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still an infant, has, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature who, by constant use, have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. So I, I want to suggest that it's our job to discern what the Father's doing with people like Soros, what's happening in the political realm, and then to take action on it. And the word righteousness is really shared purpose. Um, Jesus told us to put the kingdom first in Matthew 6, 33. And we usually think of uh, terms like righteousness as being good boys and girls uh, who are forgiven just as though I never sinned. And uh, righteousness, uh, diakosone, means equity of character or act. It conveys that Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And I, it conveys that I too am a king and a lord with the same father and family. So Jesus is, is the firstborn of many brothers in Romans 8, 29. He's not ashamed to call us brothers and sisters in Hebrews 2, 11. We have a common purpose and the authority to do anything in Jesus' name within the bounds of the Father's purpose and my metron. So we, we way undershoot the, um, the authority, the responsibility, the initiative that sons have been given. So sons can see what the Father's doing and do the same thing, just like Jesus in John 5, 19. So it's time. So we can decide politically that it's time for Soros or Jezebel to go, but our authority as sons begins when, when we see the Father's plan in heaven. So I want to suggest that you see this for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Don't just obey what I'm telling you. <laughs> so we replace Jezebel in Jesus' mighty name. It's our responsibility to bring heaven to earth and to speak the truth of our Father's decree and to vote and to demand the changes that reflect our righteousness or the equity of character with our Father. We have a spirit of adoption because 
We've been translated into his kingdom and we've been given his name to execute his purpose with our initiative. So guess what? This is our nation. Uh, the USA is God's house and it's our house and it's time to evict Soros and China, the tumor, Jezebel, Biden, AOC, all the rest of them. Uh, it's time to, 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 to uh, you know, take the initiative, at least in prayer and probably much more. Um, we choose to act based on what we've seen in heaven. So I'm not just giving you an idea. I'm not giving you a per political perspective. This is some, something I'm excited about because I've seen it uh, in heaven. Um, it's, not, it's not a political opinion that belongs to a party platform. It's a kingdom mandate. Uh, we're not waiting for God's presence to come to earth in revival. As sons, we, we don't wait for the presence. We present ourselves in the council to bring his and our purpose to earth in reformation. That's our job, and that's how sons defeat principalities over nations. How do you defeat Jezebel? Appear in the council and, and see what the Father's doing and do that on earth. And what I'm conveying to you is that um, what I've seen is that the United States is not divided, and it's time for Soros to go. Um, and, and we need to make that happen, both in prayer and in practice. And I'll bet Trump will help us. <laughs> so we, we are not divided on, those, on these issues as a nation. We look at what our Father is doing, and uh, it puts us, all of us on the same page. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you for our nation. I'm, I'm binding George Soros. I'm binding this whole tendency towards socialism and Marxism. Uh, Father, I'm, I'm releasing your spirit and pro I'm proclaiming the unity of the nation. And Father, I'm declaring that the, the concept that the nation is divided is a lie. And uh, Father, we just repent for allowing Jezebel to manipulate us, to rule over us. Father, we don't want a king. We want you to be our king. We want to, <clears throat> Trump to be our president, and we want to take our place. We want to take our metron. We want to take our land. We want to be sons who take initiative and see what you're doing in heaven and do that on earth. We want to bring your kingdom to earth, and Father, we're asking you for the nations, now, just as you promised in Romans 2, or Psalms 2, 8. You said, ask of me, and I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. So, Father, we claim the United States and, and other European nations and Canada and South America and South Africa and China and Russia and Iran and Australia. Father, we claim every nation for your glory. And Father, we refuse to allow this deep state, this uh, cancerous thing with tentacles to, to ruin our health. We break that off in the name of Jesus and we break off George Soros with it and we break off banking families, we break off China's influence, and we break off uh, funding of terrorism, we break off the influence of immigration. Uh, Father, we just claim the book of the United States to bless other nations. We release uh, the glorious liberty that you've ordained for people around the world. And, and we just, we claim the, the U.S. role in blessing nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Go get them. God bless.